Hey guys, I'm here with Jillian Luden, soccer superstar who is breaking the silence on and off the field with her campaign, Every Voice Counts. Thank you so much for doing this. Of course. So what does your campaign mean to you? Like why Every Voice Counts? So um, my sister passed away obviously three years ago from domestic violence and after she passed away um, her friends told us that they were aware that she was getting abused, um, that she was getting hit and strangled and verbally abused and um, as our, her family we, we didn't know, we weren't privy to any of that information. Um, so hearing that information from her friends really made us think, well why didn't you say something? Why didn't you stand up um, and say, you know, tell a coach or tell a counselor or tell someone what was going on so that she could get help um, and so I knew that I needed to do something about it and that I needed to use my own voice to stand up and really use my platform as a professional athlete to leverage that and use it for good so um, that's how the Every Voice Counts campaign started. You're here for a second time um, how has your pro your excuse me your campaign like progressed over the past year? So last year when we came it was very new um, we had just launched Every Voice Counts campaign and now since then a year later over 10,000 people have taken part in it. We started our own in school programming. Um, it's a leadership programming for 12 young women in South Jersey and it's been incredible so far um, to see growth um, over the course of a year of the foundation and just the amount of number and people that we've been able to impact is amazing. What has been the most challenging part of the campaign? The most challenging part I would say is domestic violence is hard to talk about. It's hard um, to get people to come and listen to you speak about domestic violence and um, because people are like, oh, well, I'll never be a victim of domestic violence or that will never impact my life. And I, to be honest, at one point I thought that was me. Um, and so just getting um, comfortable with speaking about it and just empowering young women to know, like, yeah, this speech is about domestic violence, but it's more about... Um, educating you on how to live your life with strong convictions and confidence and self-esteem and so I think um, just opening up the door to the conversation has been the hardest. What's been your f favorite part of the campaign like what do you enjoy most about it? I love um, when people just come up to me afterward and they're like thank you so much for that message it was so encouraging I needed to hear that or you know my friend is a victim or my family's a victim and like I just know what you said really really resonates with me um, or just to see someone in the crowd just like be you know so intensely focused on every word I'm saying and it's encouraging to know that people's hearts are being touched so um, and it's encouraging to be able to share my sister's story mm -hmm. and let her story live on and make sure that no one else has to go through this. Mm -hmm. You have many famous soccer player friends. Mm -hmm. um, have they supported your campaign? Yeah, uh, a lot of people have supported the campaign and I think uh, a lot of people realize like, okay, I've got influence and I've got leverage um, and let's use that for something that's really good in the world. And so um, a lot of my friends or you know, even you guys are taking hold of that influence and using it for that something that's really good so every single person when they make that decision in their heart that they're going to do what's right and stand up for what is right it's all worth it what is like your next step on the campaign how do you want to progress it do you want to like make it national do you want to universal what is your next like step that's awesome that's a really good question um i think that i want to make sure that the leadership program that we started is going well and and try to grow that so that more schools can get involved in it and more people can just have like a mentor in their life you know who really cares about them i go to woodbury high school every week and i meet with 12 girls and it's just great to see them grow every single week and allow them a place that's safe to come and speak about whatever's going on in their life and just to say you know what i'll never learn about hard circumstances in school. There's no textbook and there's no uh, curriculum that says this is what you do when this happens and you know I lost my friend or I lost my sister or I failed this test or I feel like a failure. What do I do now? And so just being able to create a safe space where kids can come and just talk about that and get encouragement and you know get affirmation is huge. Mm -hmm. Do you have one piece of advice you can give to someone who's being has to like dealt with domestic violence or how can they overcome domestic violence? Another good question. I would say the best piece of advice is just tell someone. You never want to keep those um, demons quiet and try to deal with it on your own. Like as an athlete, I was geared toward, okay, m no pain, no gain. So if the more pain I can put on myself, I'll be better on the other side. But that's actually not the truth. Um, we need to talk about it. We need to tell somebody. We need to cry out for help because we're never alone. You're never in this world alone. Um, there's teachers who care about you. There's counselors who care about you, parents, friends. So many people care about us. Um, so when we keep secrets quiet uh, is really when we get the most hurt. 
having a background of being an Olympian a national team member, what is one piece of advice you can offer a high school athlete, especially a senior who's trying to get recruited for mm-hmm. like a big D1 school or a big D2? Mm-hmm. I think the best piece of advice that I can say is never compare yourself to someone else. If I were to compare myself to other goalkeepers in this country, I could easily look at myself as a failure. Um, But I know at the end of the day that I'm the best person and player that I could have ever been because I worked as hard as I possibly could and I cared about my teammates and I smile and I loved every single minute of it. Um, So I think that if you're the best version of who you are every single day and strive to be better the next day, then that's complete success. I completely agree. And thank you so much for doing this. For Gammy TV, this has been Ariel Schaefer. Have a good day and remember that every voice counts.